First, the teenagers attacking others for a thrill. This is another story that we've been covering. The latest victim says he was assaulted and robbed while walking through OTR, and then he says his attackers mocked him. So after hearing reports here on Channel 5 of two other brutal attacks in Over the Rhine, this man decided that it was time to tell his story. WLWT News Files Karen Johnson is live for us in Over the Rhine again tonight. She has more. Hi, Karen. Hey, good evening, Sheree. You know, ever since we broke the story about the deadly attack on 14th Street, more victims have been reaching out to us, telling us about other assaults that are unrelated. Well, tonight you're about to meet a man, a man who has jumped here on Elm Street, just north of Liberty. He says it's time to tell his story because he wants to warn other people, even if you are minding your own business, you can become a victim. Chris Lewis views his walks through over the Rhine a little differently these days. And it's sort of like walking through funhouse mirrors. Buildings, street signs, everything he views appears to be slanted 30 degrees to the right, all because of a severe eye injury from being attacked. It was just, you know, like a very quick, random, brutal attack, basically. The 39-year-old who lives in over the Rhine was walking down Elm Street just north of Liberty after a night out last month. And I just noticed some movement coming from from Green Street, uh, just saw some figures running, and when I turned, I immediately got struck in the eye. Once on the ground, he says he was beaten some more. I was kind of matter-of-factly stating, like, you guys just really hurt my eye, I need to get to the hospital, and they, they started to mock those comments, and then they, you know, they, they, were, they were enjoying it. Lewis rushed back to his apartment and sought help from neighbors. You got a Chris, a male, white 30s, knocking on doors, yelling he's been jumped and going blind. Okay. Three to four male black teenagers, early 20s, and all black clothing. They hit me with such force that it detached my retina, um, and I had what's called an open globe injury, so my cornea kind of opened up. Lewis says he was surprised to learn from police in an area with a lot of new development popping up. It's pretty much a dead zone when it comes to security cameras. That's concerning. And my fear, too, is that because this incident was so random that it's going to be repeated. As for his own health, he's two eye surgeries down and has two more to go. Lewis says it's likely the vision loss in his left eye will be permanent. Now, he not only sees his surroundings through a different lens, but also what complacency can lead to. You know, you think that if you don't bother anyone, they won't bother you. And I think that creates this false sense of, of security uh, for people that have been here a while. And Lewis says the attackers also stole his cell phone and earbuds. Now, if you're in this area of Over the Rhine, you may notice these signs. Lewis and his family, they are offering a $3,000 reward for information that leads to a conviction. There is a phone number listed on this flyer. I've also posted that phone number on our website. Now, late in the day, Cincinnati police did get back to me with a statement saying uh, the incidents we're hearing about lately in OTR are, quote, very independent, isolated occurrences with different circumstances for each different offense. Reporting live tonight in Over the Rhine, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.